unlike I usually do. Today, I am going to begin with the middle part of the script. After all, you probably know already, the machine about which I am going to talk. As well as the builder of today's project. It is obvious, that this is the work of Muong Zeus, from Zeus Custom, in Thailand. We all know, that most Zeus Customs projects are excellent. What we do not know, is how different the new Royal Enfield 650 became, after they put their hands on it. But one thing is certain, a Zeus Custom work, never disappoints. Welcome to Racer TV. As I said, the Zeus Custom team always does an excellent job. But what is really impressive is the fact that all this was built in just 45 days. But before I explain this to you, Let's talk a little about the new Royal Enfield 650 Twin. You probably remember my test drive from a few weeks ago, in which I tested the new Interceptor 650. The curious thing, is that I had the opportunity of riding it again, thanks to a racer TV fan, who delivered it in the hands of Lionel to be customized. If you don't know how good this engine sounds, here is your chance. One of the things I said on my test drive video, is that this Interceptor 650, is like a rough diamond, ready to be lapidated. And Royal Enfield managers, know that. In fact, I think this is precisely what they had in mind for this motorcycle. It is not by accident, that Royal Enfield has been delivering its new models, to some of the most popular custom builders in the world. And Zeus Custom, is definitely in that category. Muong Zeus was contacted by Royal Enfield to build a custom project, which would be presented at the 2019 Bangkok International Motor Show. The good news was, Muong could choose between the Interceptor, or the Continental GT. The bad news, is that he only had 45 days to accomplish the build. Besides having to keep everything secret. After the approval of its first sketches, the Zeus custom team immediately started the transformation process. And so the prime project was born. The next problem, was keeping the project secret. The only solution for this requirement, was to divide the workshop room in two. One section for general customer projects, and the other section closed, just for the prime project. So, what do I think about this project? Obviously, I love it. The best Royal Enfield Cafe racer I've seen so far. As usual, Muong Zeus has the ability to make things look so good. And yet, so simple. I have to say that personally, this kind of seat would never be my first option. But I recognize that it makes the motorcycle profile, very slim, and clean. It also reminds me, of one of the old icons from the 60s. The Triumph Matthias Desert Tracer. Do you see the resemblance? To make the interceptor stay totally parallel to the ground, 
1.5 inches were cutted out from the front suspension springs. The fuel tank is still the factory original. But now it is welded to the seat structure, turning them into one single piece. This option, turn this gold line relevant. Not to say, quite interesting. In fact, this line is one of those things, that defines the main configuration of the project. But there is also another very subtle detail, which I am sure almost no one noticed. Do you see the curvature of the exhaust pipes? Now, try to find its relation, with the bronze line, which starts on the fuel tank. Yes almost like a mirror of each other. Like I said. Very subtle, but a very elegant detail. This is the kind of subtleness, that is usually hard to get. But when it has a purpose on the aesthetic of the project, it turns everything even more valuable to our eyes. Thank you. For watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.